Once upon a time, at cult headquarters, young brother Paul Tumblyboo is called into his overseer's office. The governing body have a special assignment for him. Have a seat, brother. You've done some fine work since being assigned to the service department. Well, thank you. I've learned so much from you brothers who have spent decades behind these walls, cut off from society. Yes, there's a lot of work involved in keeping our pedo paradise running smoothly. And really, that's what I need to speak to you about. What? No, I never. It's time for Jehovah to finish your training. To that end, we have shortlisted a few select brothers that we would like to send. I mean, the Jehovah would like to send to university. Oh, really? I thought divine education, the theocratic ministry school, was all that we needed. Well, Jehovah, you know, is a jealous god. He doesn't like to share his toy, uh, his is copyrighted material and also databases. That, that's a big no-no, no databases. And so to that end, Jehovah wants you to go to law school. But I thought college was the devil's playground, where I could be ensnared by worldly thinking, and I could desire great things for myself. Uh, uh normally that is true, but we can really see Jehovah's hand in this. Jehovah, you see, he knows that all the policies that he put in place over these many decades will very soon come to bite us in the ass. But brother, what if the spirit of competition was to take root in my heart? And I wanted to be the best. You must prove yourself cautious as serpents, and yet innocent as... Well, no, actually... We just need more snakes, <laughs> yes. But remember, Jehovah will make you firm. He will make you strong. So while everyone in the congregation was being told not to go to university, headquarters used dedicated, donated funds to send Bethelites to law school. Finally, Paul graduates and celebrates with all his friends. Oh wait. Paul is no part of the world, so it doesn't make any friends. Paul is now not only a qualified member of the bar, but also an appointed elder in the congregation, and is often asked to speak at meetings about the dangers of education. In this month's announcements, we have a new revised, 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 revised organization book written by lawyers. You might wonder, why yet another new one? Well, when you're running a man-made shite ship, I mean, tight ship, yeah, when you're running a tight ship, flawed rules and regulations always need a tweaking. Now, we invite Brother Tumblyboo to the platform to handle the item on higher education with the theme, Jehovah wants you just smart enough to do the work, but not smart enough to ask why. Brother Tumblyboo. Tonight, we have some clips regarding education and an interview us law students had with the governing body. It's a new school year, and we know just how difficult it is for you young ones to go and mix with these filthy, worldly, wicked people every day with their evil peer pressure. Not like the good peer pressure that we get at Christian meetings. Then there is the tremendous pressure from teachers trying to get you to be the best, enticing you with scholarships and the like. They are a disgrace to the profession. As you know, Jehovah sent me to law school. But after that, Jehovah realised it was a bad idea for people like me who had been sheltered from reality we learned some interesting things about ourselves. Have a look at this little clip. Has the governing body changed its position regarding the pursuit of higher secular education? No. If we are in continued association with those who do not believe the same, 
It can erode our thinking and convictions. In Romans chapter 14, it counsels us not to judge or become overly critical of the decisions of others. My question is, who dropped them off at the university? And think about this. We will not need doctors or lawyers after Armageddon. Speaking of lawyers, we have an interesting perspective from Brother Philip Brumley of the legal department. So, Philip, uh, you're an attorney. You serve at Bethel. The organization made a decision to send you through law school. Um, what do you tell a young person who's considering pursuing higher education? Well, something happened that I was not uh, prepared for. This is a Bethel assignment, so I want to do well. Not just well, but very well. I scored rather poorly, and that shocked me. I work very hard, David, to make sure that humility is a front. My wife, Elizabeth, sat me down one day. She pointed out the uh, character flaws, um, ambition, um, egotism, uh, selfishness, uh, combativeness, being argumentative. She's absolutely right. Well said. Thank you very much for taking the time with us today. It's been a real delight to be with you. Thank you, brothers, for sharing that very interesting perspective. Remember, divine education truly is the opportunity of an everlasting lifetime. Hand over your minds. Hey, Chad, how are you doing, young man? I haven't heard you answer up for a while. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, yeah, I'm good, thanks. Very interesting meeting tonight, don't you think? Uh, yeah, okay. Your father tells me this is your last year of school. What are your plans? Not sure yet. I've been looking online at a few colleges. College? Well, don't tell anyone I told you, but I think that's a wonderful idea. I didn't go to college. I was a window washer, man and boy like your father. It was fine while I was young, but my knees are shot from going up and down ladders. I bet you never thought you'd be retired in this old system. No, me and Beryl were waiting for the paradise to start a family. We are still waiting. In hindsight, I wish we had followed the example of the governing body. Eh? What do you mean? They always tell us. In the final part of the final part of the last days. Yet, they sent Brother Tumbleboo to law school for four years. They spent years building a new headquarters, and now they have a long-term plan to build a new media studio over the next six years. Are they putting their lives on hold? Doesn't look like it. So are they lying when they say that the end is soon? That's a whole other subject, young man. The main point is this. Matthew 24, verse 36. Concerning that day, no one knows except the Father. Nothing you do or say will speed it up or slow it down. Now you are a lovely young couple. Uh, no, no we're, we're not a... Uh, uh... I'm not blind, you know. But listen, don't press pause on this life while you wait for paradise to come. You might find yourself as old as I am, still waiting for your life to begin. Enjoy this life you've been given. Come on now, Chad, we're going. Oh, okay. Uh, thanks, Brother Oldtimer. I appreciate your words. I don't want to wait for our life to be over anymore. Well, young man, I hope tonight's food at the proper time has put an end to your crazy, rebellious ideas of college. I don't understand what the big deal is. It's just part of my school life. How would you feel if Armageddon came while you were investing four years getting a degree in Satan's world? 
Are you saying the end of the world is coming in the next four years? Well, it could. We know it is very, very soon. Suppose the end is ten years or, or twenty years. Is it not good that I get educated for the kind of job that I want to do for all those years? Going to college shows a lack of faith that the end is soon. So are you saying that if I started a project that would take four or six years that took me away from time spent in preaching, that would be showing a lack of faith? Spot on, yes. There is no more important work that we could be doing so close to the end of the world. Well, how come the governing body are planning a six-year project to make their very own Hollywood studio? And that won't be finished until 2026? Uh, what? Well, no, that's, that's different. Building property for Jehovah is sacred service. Well, apparently, going to law school was sacred service for Brother Tumbleboo. Why can't I be a lawyer? Yeah, well, that was the old governing body. The new governing body don't send people to college. Ugh, not everyone is meant to be a window cleaner, you know. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you like this one, go watch this one or try a binge. Watch here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>